Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the new Audio Harmonies feature in the Audio Edit window of Band in a Box 2018 for both Mac and Windows. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to effectively use these new Audio Harmony features, first showing you the simplest basic approach, and then moving on to more complex uses. This demo is using the Mac version, but everything in this video is exactly the same in the Windows version of Band in a Box 2018 as well. This feature allows you to take a monophonic audio track and add up to four new Harmony voices. So I'll start with a very simple example. I have a Band in a Box file loaded that has a tenor sax soloing over a jazz waltz groove. It is, of course, a monophonic part, meaning there is only ever one note playing at any given time. Because it's monophonic, I can use this feature on it, basically turning it into a polyphonic part, or multiple notes playing at any given time. That's basically what harmony is, different notes playing at the same time. Now, you can process just a small portion of the file, but I'll do the entire thing, which you can do by pressing Select Whole or just having no region at all selected. To do this, I'll go to the Edit menu and select Harmonize. I'll get more into the details of this dialog later, but the best setting for general use is to harmonize based on chords. With Harmony Type, Band in a Box Intelligent Mode. You can then choose how many voices you want in addition to the original melody. I just want one extra voice added here. For the Voices Above setting, because there is only one harmony voice, this can only be zero or one, with one meaning the harmony will be above the original melody, or zero meaning the harmony will be below the original melody. I want it below, so I'll leave it at zero. Also, since it's only one additional voice, it gives me a close voicings option, where I can set it to favor thirds, sixths, or a combination of both, which I'll select. I can then set the relative volumes of the original and the additional voice here. And I'll make the harmony a little quieter, and we can pan, for example, I'll put the original a little to the left, and the new generated harmony a little to the right. And just for fun, I'll also have it transcribe the original to the melody track and transcribe the harmony voices to the soloist track. And when I press OK, it takes a few moments to create the new part. And now we've got this beautiful lower harmony added to our tenor sax. Incidentally, I've muted the melody and soloist tracks because that's where the newly transcribed MIDI parts are, and I just want to hear the audio. But if I switch to Piano View in the mixer, we can see the original part displaying here in red and the harmony displaying here in green. And we can see the harmony is always lower than the original melody since that's what we specified in the dialog. We can view it in the lead sheet as well, but first I'll set the visual transpose to tenor sax since this is a tenor part. And here in the lead sheet, I can control click on the parts here to see the two parts together. Where we can see exactly what the harmonies are doing. And even though it was done automatically by Band in a Box, it's using complex harmonies with passing tones, chromatic approaches, and dominant seventh approaches. For example, we can see here, the original melody plays a descending line, A, G, F sharp, E, D, a direct descending line from the fifth of the chord, A, to the root, D. But the harmony intelligently picks a different shape that works better as a harmony, playing the flat seven of the D7 chord, C, descends to B, returns up to the flat seven instead of following the descending line of the original, and then jumps down to the fourth of the chord, which resolves to the third of the chord, F sharp. Now, this is destructive editing, meaning when the file is saved and reopened, the harmonies are written to the track. Later on, I'll show you ways to keep your original file intact. For now, though, even though it's destructive editing, you can still undo what you've done within this particular session, which I'll do now, first undoing the MIDI transcriptions, and then undoing the actual harmonizing. And now we can hear the original monophonic part again. Incidentally, the transcription that I had it do as part of the harmony generation can be done on its own as well. 
So for example, I'll do that, and the part is transcribed to the melody track. And here it's playing with a vibes patch. So now I'm going to get a little more advanced. With the same file, I'm going to do a more dense harmony, a five-part arrangement. And I'm going to do it so that the original melody is on the melody track and just the harmonies are on the audio track. That way I have separation between the original file and the harmonies. To do this, we're first going to look at the way Band in a Box files exist with accompanying audio. This particular song I have loaded is called Jazz Waltz Tenor Sax for Harmonies.SGU. The audio track that we were listening to in Band in a Box has exactly the same file name, but the file is .wav instead of .sgu. That's what determines what will be on the audio track in Band in a Box. WAV files with the same name, apart from the file extension, will automatically be opened with the Band in a Box file on both Windows and Mac. AIFF also works, but Band in a Box will automatically convert it to WAV first. But there's another way to have audio play in Band in a Box, and that's to have audio play on different tracks other than the audio track, and those are called artist performance tracks. For these, it's the same as with the audio track. The name needs to be the same, but with space and then the name of the track after it. So if I duplicate this file, but name it Jazz Waltz Tenor Sax for Harmonies Space Melody, then when I open that file in Band in a Box, we now have the same tenor sax part on both the melody track, now named Artist, and the audio track. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can process the audio track with harmonies while leaving the artist performance track intact. So I'll go back to the audio edit window, where we're looking at the audio track. I'll select harmonize, and this time I'll pick four harmony voices. Two of them will be above, and one of them will be a doubled part, an octave lower. But because I have the original melody on another track, I'll actually turn that down all the way in this mix, so we'll only hear the harmonies on this track. I'll also make the lower voices a little quieter, and I'll pan them all so there's a nice blend. I'll do the transcribed harmonies to melody and soloist tracks, so we'll be able to see the notes that are playing on the piano keyboard. And here's the original melody by itself, and here are the harmonies added. And here we can see the notes that are playing with the melody here in red and the harmonies here in green, thanks to the transcriptions that we checked in the harmonies dialog. At the beginning, I said there were other options besides Band in a Box Intelligent Mode. The Intelligent Mode certainly is the easiest to get the best results. However, there are other options based on presets from the old MIDI harmonies that can be used. So if you're familiar with those, and there are presets that you've used in the past, you can experiment with those as well, though the results will vary depending on the source audio. But for example, I have a simple background tenor sax loaded here, and I could try out number 38, two saxes. And it gives me a nice simple two-part sax harmony, perfect for a background part. And of course this works with lots of other instruments as well. Here's a vocal demo, a song called Listen. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen, just listen. And I'll turn it into a three-part harmonized vocal performance. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen, just listen. And here's a monophonic fiddle part. 
playing a background part over a slow Americana 12-8 groove. which I can turn into a two-part harmonized violin part. We hope you enjoy this exciting new audio harmonies feature. Thanks for watching and have fun.